Hey everybody, somebody wrote on the board last week something that I found really disturbing and it apparently is coming from some sort of an email from a, from a particular parent of a child, a couple children as a matter of fact. He has a, at least one neurotypical child and at least one child on the uh, autism spectrum and he performed an experiment and it really is an experiment on, on, on more than one child. What he did was he took what appears to be uh, homeopathic uh, RNA drops and gave them to both kids and really observed what happened so he could experiment and, and see you know is this affecting uh, one child or another uh, is this something that I should be giving my kids so in fact he, he gave uh, both kids this drug this this potion this elixir and and watched to see what happens it's really something you do with mice or other animals, you know, what scientists do. The observations are A, hyperactivity in the neurotypical control and uh, increased v uh, verbal ability in the, uh, in the ASD test, in the autism spectrum disorder uh, child. Man, I'm sorry, this is an experiment. It just is an experiment. And if anyone's claiming that they're not experimenting on their child but they're doing stuff like this, well, I've got news for you. You are wrong. You are experimenting on a kid and uh, I think there's a lot of people out there including myself that have a real issue with that so then got me into question you know what is this RNA that uh, these people are going to such lengths to uh, such you know extremism in order to uh, use here's the drop it's a, here's a dro bottle of uh, RNA drops themselves I mean this is I, I, I just can't even tell you how wrong uh, a lot of the sciences that uh, we're about to talk in. So I'm, I, I went straight to the source. Uh, I went straight to the sales pitch on the internet. You can go there yourself and look through all these slides yourself. Look at this. Oh, sample yeast RNA sequence. This is this is this is why I don't uh, put uh, ingredient list on. Ha 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 ha. Now you know my big beef is you know this stuff's going to get broken down in a big way in your digestive system, and so they try and you know take this. Uh, uh, you know, claim and, and put it to rest by saying, well, you know, here's a big long sequence of, of RNA, you know, and oh, by the way, studies have shown DNA is not fully digested in the gut and the mammalian system. The question is whether foreign DNA can survive and however methodists used to detect DNA were not very sensitive and what? 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 Stop the presses. Did we hear right? We're talking about RNA here and we're we're using DNA we're using DNA as a you know to make a point what does the half life of DNA in the gut have anything to do with RNA now here's the answer are are, are you ready for this answer here here it comes <gasps> <gasps> yeah yeah RNA on the left two prime hydroxyl you'll see DNA on the right it's no no hydroxyl there. It's a different molecule. DNA. Why use DNA to prove a point with RNA in the gut? It's nothing. It's not similar. It's not even close. I mean, it's just, oh, I can't even believe anyone has the audacity to do this. And then swing right back in to RNA half-lives intracellularly. What does that have to do with the gut? Is do you, are you Are you sane? Oh, I mean, just, uh, maybe I'm getting stressed out. So I, I, if you're getting stressed out, from all this RNA talk. Hey, there's some help for you. This is your help. Bonjour, je vous en prie. Sell your transition. Oh, ribo babies, yes. Here's some science. Ribo babies. Oh, oh, no, this is the one I need. I guess this is the one I need right here. A nice double helix, as a matter of fact. Um, they're little drawings to help stupefy you. Yeah, that's right. You with the wallet. Fork it over. This is cellular transport. Ah, I see, see a, a bus. Regulation, we have a cop. And there's a badge with a star. Inflammatory cascade. It's not really a cascade showing you here, but, you know, hey, whatever. Uh, membrane fluidity. Oh, I get fluid in music. Hey, it's jazzy. Here you go. Here you go. Transcription. Translation. You're not smart enough to, to really know this stuff, people. If you're listening to this, you're not smart enough. We need little pictures. We need fun little thing. Oh, glue. <laughs> yeah, anyone besides me feel like getting mugged? Although I'm not buying this stuff. But there is more, much more. Here we go. Oh, here's the science. 
Red, yellow, and green. I'm in the green zone. I'm in the red zone. I'm in the yellow zone. <gasps> Your kid's yellow for ten? Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's as bad. Spare us. You know, green, yellow, red? I mean, can we dumb this down anymore? No, no, I don't think it's possible. Can we make this just... Ah, uh, just... Ah. Uh. But here we go. So let's make sure that our nucleotides are really something that you want to put inside your body. And hey, you know, it's uh, here, absolutely valid stuff. You know, nucleotides are important. RNA is important. You wouldn't be alive if you didn't have it. You know, RNA evolved into something that can give you a nice little fat lecture about RNA, as a matter of fact. You know, and uh, nucleotide requirements. But, you know, here, here we go. We start trying to lend credence to uh, you know, taking drops. We cannot synthesize some purines, and intestinal mucosa cells cannot make enough purines. Well, uh, stress increases the need for nucleotides. Okay, wow, you know, I'd better take some drops then. Oh, yes, because otherwise, where else am I going to get, uh, you know, a source of nucleotides? Otherwise, you know, I'd have to just make them. You know, typical DNA. Oh, here we go, 3 billion uh, nucleotides long. Yeah, that's or that's quadrillion or quintupillion for all you uh, who are getting stressed out there. And now we try and tie that into methylation pathways, tetrahydrofolate is required for cell division. Oh, you better get your RNA and nucleotides in that body. Otherwise, you know, because some people, if they have a mutation for, you know, methylation and the folate pathway, you know, well, you, you have a special need for this stuff, man. So the wallet, I want to see it. I want to see it now. You know, there's enzymatic functions of DNA or RNA and nucleotides. Oh, but wait, but wait, 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 wait. We already get a lot in our diet. That is, if you eat plants or if you eat meat. And there are foods on the market here that already have nucleotides in them. But wait a second, my RNA gets broken down into nucleotides and ribose. No, it gets broken down into either nucleotides, nucleosides, or nucleobases plus ribose. And, and natural RNA as opposed to allo as, as synthetic RNA? Synthetic RNA does not break down? No. Wrong, wrong, wrong. It all breaks down, unless there's some sort of protecting group, unless it's a nucleotide analog. Here we go. Mouse liver, you know, kidney, lung. How much RNA can you get out of a particular cell? Uh, there's a lot, okay? Specific RNAs, you know. If oh, but here we go. We got to get back into the, uh, in, you know, we we got to get conspiracy here. Why is this such great stuff? Why aren't the pharmaceutical companies making it right now? Why why do you have to go to, you know, person X here to get your RNA drops? Because they're spending billions, billions of dollars, um, on alternate, you know, on on these ribozymes and and uh, and RNAi microRNA research. Why would they just, you know, break open some yeast? Crack that sucker open, do a total yeast extract, and and give it to you in a drop form. Well, they've already spent millions and billions of dollars. You know why? 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 Why are they? What are they going to say to their, uh, you know, in their shareholder meeting? Well, you know, uh, Doctor So and So says we could just put RNA in drops and drink it, and hey, we're good to go. I guess that billion dollars that we've already spent is, you know, hey, that's was a waste. Sorry, high fives. No. I mean, come on. Do you really think that people are going to buy this nonsense? Spare us. Enough with it, man. I mean, I'm getting stressed out just thinking about this nonsense. Give me a rival, baby. Hey, you